Hello guys. So in this session, we are going to learn sonar cube code analysis with GitHub action for Maven project, right? So you can see here we I have created one repository with the name sonar cube code analysis for Maven, and here for uh, for this we need a sonar cube, right? So as you know, in my previous video, we have learned how to install sonar cube on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. So here we need a sonar cube, right? So as you can see here, here we have successfully installed sonar cube on Ubuntu. So you can see the dashboard of sonar cube here, right? You can see here. And you can see the URL, my instance IP and the port number is 9000, right? So that's the sonar cube URL, uh, dashboard, right? So here we are going to learn sonar cube code analysis with GitHub action for Maven project. So as you can see, this is my Maven project. So you can see the files, SRT, SRC folder and pom.xml file. So if you don't have any Maven project, then you can use my Maven project. So simply you can copy my this uh, project. Uh, so you can clone my repository and use this project, right? Okay, so that's the Maven project. So now we are going to sonar cube code analysis with GitHub action for Maven project, okay? So let's start. So first of all here, uh, you need a Maven project. So I have successfully created a repository. Okay. Now the next step is go to the Sonar Cube. So here, here is my Sonar Cube, right? So here in Sonar Cube, we need a create Sonar token, right? So how to create? So simply click on administrator and here go to the my account and here go to the security and as you can see here generate tokens tokens right so as of now i don't have any tokens so let's create token so here i'm going to enter a name maven project And the token type is user token and expires in 30 days. So click on generate. Okay, it's generated. So as you can see the note, new token Maven project has been created and make sure co you copy it now. You won't be able to see it again. Okay, so I'm going to copy my token and now go to the GitHub. And here in my repository, we need to create secret, right? For this token. So as you know how to create secret, so go to the settings. And scroll down, go to the secrets and variables, then actions. And here, if I scroll down, you can see as of now, we don't have any secrets. So we need a create secret. So click on new repository secret. And first of all, I'm going to paste my secret here. And now enter your secret name. So my secret name will be Sonar Token. Right? Okay. Because that's my Sonar Token. Okay. So I click on add secret. Okay, it's done. After that, we need one more secret here. So the another secret is Sonar URL. So here, first of all, I'm going to enter a secret name, Sonar host URL. And in secret, we need to enter our Sonar URL. So here is our URL. Instance IP and our port number, right? Okay, click on add secret. Okay, as you can see, repository secret added. That means it's done, right? Okay, now, now go to the code. And now the next step is our workflow, right? To sonar cube code analysis for Maven. So we need a workflow. So as you know how to create workflow, go to the add files, click on create new file. So 
So first of all, our folder name. So our folder is GitHub. Then in GitHub, we need one more folder with the name workflows. And in workflows, our YAML file, right? So my YAML file will be maven.yaml. And here we need a workflow. Enter your workflow, right? Okay. So first of all, I'm going to this official page of Sonar Cube. Here you can see Sonar Cube and the latest version is 9.9 .9 that we have installed, right? So this is the official site of Sonar Cube. So as you can see here, GitHub integrations uh, and after that the prerequisite here, if you are using GitHub Enterprise, we need a recommended using some this GitHub Enterprise versions, then branch analysis. So you can see the information about your GitHub and the sonar cube so you can see the creating your github app then steps you can see first of all github app name then home page url user authorization and then webhook url and so on after that here if i scroll down here analyzing project with github action right so here we are going to learn how to uh, analyze sonar cube with github action for maven project right so for that here first of all we need to create your github secret that we have successfully created after that configure your workflow with yaml file then commit and push your code to start the analysis right okay so now we are going to creating our yaml file right that means our workflow so here you can see creating your github secret okay we have successfully created our sonar token right and we have successfully added secret of our sonar host url okay you can see generate a sonar cube token in github and create a new repository secret in github with sonar token name right okay then sonar host url okay now the next is configuring your github workflows build.yaml file right here now here in this first of all community edition and developer edition and above okay now so let's check our workflow so here is our workflow for maven sonar scanner for maven right okay so let's check our workflow so in note you can see a project you might have a be provided through the command line parameter and so on okay now you can see our yaml file first of all as you can see, name, build, on push, branches, main, then pull request, and job. In job build, our job name build runs on Ubuntu latest. Then steps, here we are going to use this action checkout repository, right, with fetch step zero, right. Then here we are going to use JDK 11, Java version. Then cache sonar cube package. After that here, we are going to use action check cache. Then with path sonar cache, and here you can see the runner's operating system. Now, then after that, here we are going to use actions repository, right? Okay. Then here in this step, build and analyze, right? That's the important step. Okay. Here in environment, you can see we are going to use our GitHub token, right? In GitHub token, we are going to use our secret GitHub token, right? After that, next is, next environment is Sonar token that we have created, right? In Sonar and then we, we have created, we have add in our GitHub secret, right? And secret is Sonar token, right? After that, Sonar host URL that we have successfully added, right? Then MVN hyphen B verify organization Sonar source scanner Maven and so on, right? Okay. So let's copy the workflow from here so i'm going to copy this workflow let's paste here okay so let's check the indentation okay it's right okay now let's commit new file Now let's go to the actions. So as you can see, the status is queued. So 
now is in progress so wait for a few seconds So as you can see, it's in progress. So wait for a few seconds. Take a few seconds to complete. Okay, it's done. Our job succeed. You can see succeed in one, one minute and 12 seconds. Okay, now let's go to the sonar cube and let's check. So go to the sonar cube homepage. So you can see my app and the last analysis, analysis is 34 seconds ago. Right? You can see my app. Right? That means we have successfully analyze this sonar cube uh, code with github action for maven project right so you can see my app and the details you can see right okay so thank you for watching